Welcome to Driver's Therapy. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the engine insulator. Now, you're probably wondering, why are we making a video about the engine insulator? Well, it's one of those areas that I think that there's not a lot of information about. And the, re the way I found out about it is that this is the insulator for the Supra. And when I originally went to go get the car painted, um, the people at the body shop, they ripped the insulator um, down here. Now, as you can tell, that insulator has a lot of rips, and that's because as the rip in the bottom started to progress, I tried to remove it. The, uh, it was really stuck on there, so when I pulled on it, it just, just came off and ripped off. Now, when it came off, I wanted to be like, okay, let me replace it, uh, or what should I do? So I went online to ask the Supra uh, Facebook community, one of them, and a lot of people were, were saying following, you know, uh, following the question, I also want to know, and uh, uh, essentially I asked, what is this for? Do I need it? Can I leave it off? So the reason, one of the main reasons I was asking is because on the Toyota Supra, this is close to $400. I think it's three something, uh, but it's really expensive. And I was like, what is it? And a lot of people kept on responding with it, um, it, it reduces the engine noise and it protects your paint and it's a fire blanket. Now, when I read about that, I was like, whoa, I was like, that's some pretty cool information because I honestly thought that it was kind of like a noise suppression, uh, but I never really put thought into it. So with this fire insulator, I was like, a lot of people don't know about it. So I'm gonna take advantage of that, learn about it and share it with people. So the first thing that I'm almost very certain about is that this is a fire blanket. Now, the way that this works is, and excuse me, it's a, it's a little messy. So this is the front of it and the back of it, so you could see the, the, um, the material a little bit. It's kind, of, it's kind of a fiber material. It's almost like a, the insulation material. It's got fibers, almost isn't fiberglass, but it has some sort of fiber. I don't know the material it is. I'm sure somebody out there will leave that in the comment, hopefully. Um, but I believe that this black part is meant to give it a more aesthetic look. Now, essentially what happens is that this is being held by plastic clips on, on the uh, Supra's hood. And essentially what they're saying is that if you're driving and if there's an unfortunate case that um, you have a fire in your engine, the plastic uh, a little push pins in there will melt and this will fall on the engine and smother it. So I was like, well, that's pretty cool. That makes sense. Uh, and that also makes sense because on a Supra, the exact same material, uh, meaning the yellow and the black, is against the firewall. And that definitely is uh, also, uh, we pretty much know that's a fire insulator. Uh, all, has a benefit of a noise insulator. And we'll talk about that here in a bit. Now, one of the things that kept on coming online, and I kind of wanted to debunk it, which is pretty cool, um, was that everybody was saying, if you remove this, um, your paint, your clear coat, and your paint's gonna bubble up because of the heat and stuff like that. And some of the most memorable replies that I got from that was, I actually saved them. I, I, I'm gonna probably post them up, I don't know quite yet in this video, but if I don't, essentially what they said was, a lot of people have had these engine covers off and had zero problems with them. Now, a lot of people said, if you're running a high horsepower car, you know, and if you have the, the turbine, you know, real close to, to the hood, and you don't have an insulator, uh, that will cause issues. I actually read about people who have uh, bigger turbos and um, the insulators were burning at that point of contact. Um, it was burning this piece itself. Now, the main thing I want to debunk is that people were saying that it's gonna damage the paint if you run it without an insulator. In my opinion, well, let's state a fact that I know that after all the research I've done, it is a fire blanket. And I believe that Toyota installed it in the car for the primary use of a fire blanket. Um, the second thing I think it's made for is noise reduction. And for paint protection, I really don't think that's the case because I kept on getting information from people who were saying, I, haven't ha I have not had an insulator installed for the past 10 years and I've, my, my pain is fine. I have had other people have fully built Supra, no pain issues, no pain issues, no pain issues. The only time I came up with a response was somebody uh, who was high powered Supra and the top of their paint was fine, but in the inside it was showing 
um, some de de uh, some issues. It was showing some signs of some heat damage in there, but it wasn't displaying on top of it. Now, one thing I did find out and I wanted to research a little further was about carbon fiber hoods. Now, this is true on a Supra, on a carbon fiber hood, the, uh, the, the clear coat was falling apart at the exact area where the turbo is on a Toyota Supra and essentially without an insulator. So we know that there is, uh, that the, I don't know if it's the carbon fiber versus the aluminum hood. I don't know if there's a difference as far as the heat goes, but from my understanding from a guy who works at a body shop, you know, paint, uh, you know, goes through an extreme baking process and goes through a lot of heat processes and it's able to handle certain, certain things, um, certain type of heat. Uh, uh, it's heat resistant in the sense that it's made for that environment. Another thing too is the way that the aerodynamics are designed in the hood, I believe that the air also acts as a cooling effect. And a couple of things I read too is when the insulator's off, the engine uh, bay temperatures decrease. I'm not sure about that. That's something that I'm, I didn't research about. That's some, something that somebody made a mention about. So essentially the paint thing, I believe that that's not very accurate. Uh, there is a lot more people stating that they've had this off and had no paint issues versus people who have had paint issues. I believe this is a fire blanket. Now, I wanna to come to a very fun part about this because a lot of, um, I forgot the year, but this was like early, you know, in 2009 or 10 or something like that. But one super owner posted, um, what happens if I remove this? And of course, they were getting a lot of responses, the ones that we've covered already. Um, but one of the main things that they were talking about was like, I removed mine and I could hear like my turbos spooling up like way more, or I could hear my engine bay way more, or I could even hear the twins whining way more. And I was like, oh no. So I was like, that'd be pretty cool in the sense of like, you know, engine noise is always fun in my opinion. I could see maybe some people are not liking it, but I like some engine noise. So I was doing the same research while I took this off and I hadn't, I didn't have a chance to drive the car. So when I drove the car with, with the insulator off, I found it quite interesting that it was very true. The engine does sound, you could hear the turbos a lot more um, with this engine cover off. So the funny thing is, now I wouldn't recommend removing this um, for two reasons and I'll get to that. But the funny thing is when people were posting about how their engines sound without the insulator, people were like, I'm gonna go remove mine, I'm gonna go remove mine. People were removing their super owners. Now. Let me tell you why I, um, I wouldn't remove this if, well, I think that the, it makes the engine bay look cleaner in my opinion. Um, the bare aluminum and it, some of these hoods aren't completely painted in the underside, but the bare aluminum doesn't look very good with these cars. And this gives it a nice touch when it's, you know, it's well and brand new. Um, and then on top of that, you know, the fire situation, I think it's just a pretty cool added, uh, safety measure on it. But for me uh, at this moment, these are $400. You know, I don't really feel like spending that right now. Maybe if in the future, you know, I, I, I want to do that. I will, but right now I have it off and, um, I'm liking kind of the engine noise. And one more thing, there's a substitution for this. So if you, if you guys out there, if you own a Supra and you're in the same predicament and you kind of worry about paint, issues, clear coat issues, or you just don't like, you know, you don't want to take the risk. Um, DEI tape is what people have been using. And all they do is they just add it in the side of the turbo. And so it'll reflect that off there. Now, a lot of people were saying you're reflecting heat. That's not good, but in the end, it's going to protect, it's going to accomplish the mission you want. It's going to protect that paint. So in the end, this is a fire blanket. It does help reduce noise because when you take it off, <laughs> you definitely hear the turbo spooling a lot more. And in certain applications like carbon fiber hoods or super, you know, uh, high HP cars like Supras or, or just in general, um, this can lead to some pain issues uh, depending on the, on the engine bay temperatures. But overall, a lot of people have had these off and they run them without, um, you know, without any issues. My main thing is I would still have mine if it didn't break, but I found it a very interesting topic and I thought I'd present it to you guys. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, guys, I always welcome you to subscribe. I know it's one of those things where um, we work hard on these videos. I really enjoy the comments. A lot of you guys have reached out to me and it's been really cool to, to um, 
meet you guys via digitally and I really look forward to one day meeting you guys in person. If you ever see me out there, feel free to talk to me and uh, don't forget to share the videos and we'll talk to you soon. Stay safe and see you later.